Welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called succinicoline, and succinicoline's brand name is Enectine. You will hear succinicoline referred to as sux out in the EMS field, just kind of medical slang for the medication. It falls under the class of depolarizing neuromuscular blockers, paralytics, and skeletal muscle relaxants. The mechanism of action is that it mimics acetylcholine at the motor end plate, inducing muscular relaxation and paralysis. It's manifested by fasciculations in the body. Your indications are going to be rapid sequence intubation. As always, before we get into dosages, abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. Your adult dose is going to be one to one and a half milligrams per kilogram, rapid IV or IO push. Pediatric dose is one to one and a half milligrams per kilogram, rapid IV or IO as well, and your infants are going to be two milligrams per kilogram. Contraindications include hyperkalemia, major burns, multi-system traumas, acute narrow angle glaucoma, penetrating eye injuries, extensive muscle injuries, malignant hyperthermia, and the inability to control the airway, meaning provide positive pressure ventilations and intubate. Adverse reactions can include prolonged muscle rigidity, increased intraocular pressure, rhabdo, cardiac arrest, malignant hyperthermia, and hyperkalemia. When succinicoline is given in a patient that may have taken beta blockers, oxytocin, exposed to organophosphate poisoning, the effects may actually be enhanced. Not sure why I don't have it on here, but if it's given with Valium, the effects may actually be dulled or antagonized. How it's supplied. It is usually supplied 20 milligrams in a one milliliter vial. A few side notes about succinicoline. Succinicoline does not change a patient's LOC or level of consciousness or pain. The patient has to be sedated before the paralytic is given and ventilatory support is ready. So in order to sedate them, consider a Tomidate or a benzodiazepine. Just remember what we said about Valium. Depending on your protocol, atropine may be considered because of the bradycardia that succinicoline may cause, especially in the pediatric population. Onset of this medication is typically about one minute. Succinicoline is an extremely short-acting medication in comparison to something like rocuronium. And something special that you see with succinicoline, like I mentioned in the mechanism of action, is the fasciculation. So the muscle twitching, um, muscle kind of trembling. Remember guys, as always, abide by your local protocol. Stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of medical direction, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye!